Hello children. Welcome to our science session. In the session, let's continue our revision of our uh, chapter 14, Chemical Effects of Electric Current. In last session, we have discussed some activities from our NCRT science textbook. And in this session also, we will be completing uh, the remaining activities from our sci NCRT science textbook and also we'll be uh, discussing some MCQ questions from the chapter. Uh, so children, uh, till in last session, we have uh, revised till uh, chemical effects of electric current. So we know that when an electric current passes through the solution, it ionizes, that is it breaks down into ions. This is due to chemical reaction that takes place when an electric current pass through a solution. So depending upon the nature of the solution and the electrode used, the following effects can be observed in the solution. Like uh, the metallic deposits on the electrodes or change in the color of the solution or release of gas or production of bubbles can be seen in the solution. These are the uh, effects, chemical effects we can observe in the solution. And the passage of an electric current through conducting solution causes chemical reaction that is uh, due to which uh, we can see bubbles of gas may be formed on the electrodes or deposits of metals may be seen on electrodes or changes of color of solution may occur and these reactions, it would depend on what solution and what type of electrodes are used in that electrolysis. So there are, these are some chemical effects of electric current. So what are the chemical effects of electric current can be seen. You can write bubbles or gas may be formed on the electrodes. Deposits of metal may be seen on the electrodes. Changes of color of uh, solution may occur. So these are the chemical effects of electric current. And what are the applications of uh, chemical effect of electric current? If you see the main we have learned that it is electroplating. So what is electroplating? Electroplating is a process in which a layer of metal is deposited on another material with the help of electricity. And what is the application uses? Electroplating is used in many industries for depositing a layer of desired metal with desired characteristics on another metal. And what are the different metals used for electroplating? Uh, like metals like nickel, copper, gold, silver, tin, brass, zinc, chromium and platinum. These are different metals used for electroplating purpose. And uh, how this process of electroplating occur? So first, in order to conduct electroplating, we have to choose the right electrodes and light electrolytes so that metal can be deposited over another metal. For example, if we want to deposit copper on a material, we need an electrolyte that contains copper in it. This we have learned, isn't it? Similarly, if we need gold on a material, we need an electrolyte that contains gold in it. And second important point is also we should make sure that the electrode what we are choosing is completely clean and the electrode electrodes used are made up of different materials. So one of the electrodes should be of the same metal of which uh, the electrolyte solution is. And the second electrode needs to be the material on which we want to coat on another metal. So these are uh, the important points we have to keep in uh, the process of electroplating. So children, uh, so first one, we have, uh, we have to make sure that the electrode that we are choosing will be completely clean and we want to take an uh, electrolyte that contains the similar metals uh, that is we, uh, in order to write electrodes and light electrolyte must, must be chosen so that the metal can be deposited over the other material. 
isn't it? And the electrode should be completely clean and the electrodes used are made up of different materials. One electrode should be of the same metal you know, of which electrolyte solution is and the second electrode needs to be the material on which we have to, we want to coat the another metal. And now let's uh, discuss some activities from your NCRT textbook. That is um, uh, from page number 176. For here you have, we have to take three clean plastic um, rubber caps, plastic or plastic cap or rubber caps of uh, used bottle and uh, pour about uh, two teaspoons of distilled water in each of them. So three, three cap plastic cap in which we have taken uh, three, uh, two, two, two teaspoons of distilled water in each of the cap. Now, what we have to do is add few drops of lemon juice or dilute hydrochloric acid uh, to distilled water in first cap. Now, in the second cap, uh, which contains distilled water, we have to add few drops of caustic soda or potassium iodide. And third uh, cap with uh, distilled water, we have to add some sugar dissolved in it. So the test uh, these three caps, that is the, the solution which conduct electricity and which do not conduct electricity. Well, what result do, do we obtain? That is first and second cap. First cap is of lemon juice or dilute hydrochloric acid, that is acid. And second cap containing distilled water with base, that is caustic soda or potassium iodide. And third cap is sugar, uh, sugar solution. So we know that acids and bases, they conduct electricity. So first and uh, second cap with acid and base, they conduct electricity. Whereas the third cap uh, having sugar dissolved in it, dissolved in uh, distilled water, they do not conduct electricity. And next activity, if you see, we have to take out the carbon rod carefully from the discarded cell, that is used cell, used up cell, which we cannot use further. All that in uh, this can be used completely. So from that cell, we have to take carbon rod and clean their metal cap with the sandpaper and wrap copper wire around it and uh, uh, join uh, those uh, carbon rod with them uh, into the battery. And so these carbon rod, these two rods, what we call that as electrode. And now what we have to do, do it, even you can take instead of carbon rod, you can take two iron nails about six centimeter long. Now pour a uh, cup, cup full of water in a glass or plastic bowl and add in that water add two teaspoons uh, full of salt or few drops of lemon juice to water while in order to make the water conduct conduct to conduct electricity so here water with salt or water with uh, lemon juice which act as an electrolyte isn't it and now immerse that electrodes in this solution now while immersing we have to make sure that metal caps of the carbon rod should be outside that water outside the solution now we have to wait for three to four minutes now observe the electrode carefully can you do you notice any gas bubbles near the electrodes can we call the change taking place in the solution is a chemical change Yes, on passing the electric current through the conducting solution of that lemon juice and water, what happened? Chemical reaction takes place. So uh, during chemical reaction, what can what occur? Water is dissociated, break into its constituent gases. That is, water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen, isn't it? So water is dissociated into hydrogen and oxygen. So these oxygen bubbles are formed on the electrode which are connected to the positive terminal of the battery and hydrogen gas can be seen in the form of bubbles which are which is formed on the other electrode that is which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Now if you see, see the changes of color of the solution it may occur depending on what solution and what type of electrodes are used. So as we have changed all these uh, changes, we can see that gas bubbles near the positive electrode and negative electrode. We can call this process as chemical effects of electric current. And next activity, we will uh, need here copper sulfate, um, uh, copper sulfate uh, solution and two copper plates. 
uh, size around 10 into 4 centimeter. Now, what we have to do is take 250 ml of distilled water in a clean or uh, dry beaker and dissolve in that water. We have to dissolve copper sulfate. That is, it forms copper sulfate solution. Add few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to copper sulfate solution in order to make this more conducting. Now, so we have taken this as an electrolyte copper sulfate solution. And now we have to clean the copper plates which you have taken with a sandpaper. Now rinse them with water and then dry them. Now connect the copper plates to the terminals of the battery and immerse them in copper sulfate solution. <coughs> Sorry. Allow the current to pass through it about 15 minutes. Now what we have to do is remove the electrodes from the solution and observe them carefully. Do you find any difference in any one of them? Do you find a coating over it or what color is the coating? Now all these observations we have to note down carefully as well as we have to note down the terminal of the battery with which is electrode is connected. So what we observe is after removing the electrode from the solution, we find that copper metal get deposited on the plate at the negative of the battery that is the copper plate which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery can be coated with copper deposits. So it is concluded that when an electric current is passed through copper sulfate solution, copper sulfate get dissociate breaks into copper and sulfate. So the free copper gets deposited on the plate which is acting as a cathode. Gradually, a layer of copper gets coated on that plate. So, this process, what we can call that as electroplating. Okay, children, now let's discuss about some MCQ question. That is the decomposition of an electrolyte when electricity is passed through it is called as conduction, coating, electrolysis, electrorefining. So the decomposition of electrolyte. Electrolyte gets breaks into ions. What we call that as electrolysis. So the answer is electrolysis. Now next question. Which out of the following does not conduct electricity? Copper, alcohol, dilute sulfuric acid, vinegar. So this copper conduct electricity, alcohol, uh, do not conduct electricity. Dilute sulfuric acid. Acid uh, is also acid also conduct electricity. Vinegar. Uh, vinegar is nothing but acetic acid. So that also will conduct electricity. So which of the following does not conduct electricity? Here the answer is alcohol. Now next question. The electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery is called dash. The positive electrode which is connected to the positive terminal is called as anode. So the answer is anode. Now distilled water. Distilled water is a conductor, insulator, semiconductor, semi-insulator. We know that distilled water do not conduct electricity. So it is an insulator. So distilled water is a insulator. Now next one, a cell is an example of conversion of so we know that cell is made up of some chemical, isn't it? So chemical energy will be getting converted into electrical energy. So cell is an example of conversion of chemical energy to electrical energy. So here magnetic energy into chemical energy, electrical to chemical, chemical to electrical, chemical energy into mechanical energy options are given. So we know that cell is an example of conversion of chemical energy getting converted into electrical energy. So the option is C option that is chemical energy into electrical energy. Now next question, an electric current can produce. What are the electric current can produce? Heating effect? Yes. Chemical effect? Yes, it also produces chemical effect, magnetic effect. Yes, magnet. all of this. So what answer will come? Answer D, all of this. So an electric current can produce heating effect. It may produce chemical effect. It produces magnetic effect. So the option, all of this you have to select. Now, electroplating is based on which effect that is electroplating is based on. We know that chemical effect of electricity is uh, uh, 
one example that is electroplating so electroplating is based on chemical effect of electricity so the answer is chemical effect of electricity now waste from an electroplating factory must be disposed of that is after uh, electroplating is done the remaining waste how it can it should be disposed of it should be disposed of in the nearby river no the nearby pond no in the nearby cornfield no according to the disposal guidelines of waste management bodies isn't it so waste from electroplating factory must be disposed of according to the guidelines given from the, by the waste management bodies so that is the answer now next question an electrolyte electrolyte is a metal no is a liquid that conducts current yes non metal no none of this so which option will come electrolyte is a liquid that conducts electricity or it is a solution that conducts electricity or conducts current so electrolyte is a liquid that conducts current will come okay children uh, that's all for this session